Hello everyone, greetings from PayTap's technical support team. In this series, we are going to learn everything you need to integrate PayTap's Laravel package into your Laravel project. Throughout the series, we will walk you through the 7 steps you need to fully understand and integrate the package. In this video, we are going to start with step 1 of the integration manual, which is setting up and activating the integration method. Before we start, please note that you can find the full documentation for this step inside PayTap's support portal under the article called Step 1 Laravel Package Setup and Activating the Integration Method. And now let's get started. Before we start the actual setup, what we need to know is the system requirements. So actually, there are no further system requirements than having your PayTap's merchant account and your Laravel framework installed. Please note that you need to have a Laravel framework of version 5.8 at the minimum, reaching to version 8 and above. Once you have your things installed, you are now ready to set up and activate the plugin. Let's move to the next part of step 1, which is setting up, activating, and upgrading the package. Here, you will find a step-by-step -step guide that will walk you through how you can install and activate the package, upgrade the package, and finally, you will learn how you can uninstall the package. So let's start by installing and activating the package. Inside this solution article, set up and activate the integration method, in step 1.2.1 of the Laravel package integration manual, you will find a step-by-step -step guide that will walk you through how you can fully install and activate the package. So let's walk through it together. In order to do so, we have created a very simple Laravel project from scratch, a Laravel 8 project, and yet we didn't add or add created any code inside it. So the first thing you need to do is to require the package through your Composer dependency manager. You will find the command that you will run for requiring the package in part 1 over here. Just copy it and paste it in your terminal. Now, after the command has done running, the package will be installed successfully and the next thing you will need to do is to dump the autoload file. Here, you will just run the command composer dump autoload and the autoload file will be dumped successfully. Then, the next thing you need to do is to navigate to the config file of your project and add the provider class inside app.php file. So here, we are going to copy the provider class, then navigate to our config folder, and inside it, we are going to navigate to the app.php file, and inside that file over here, we are going to reach for the providers array, and we will just add the provider class we have just copied over here. And now, your package has been installed and activated successfully, and you can move forward to the next step.